Hi, uh, my name is Larry Zwier, and I've written a book for University of Michigan Press called Mastering Academic Reading. And the title says something very important about the book, that it's about mastering reading skills. Uh, most of the students who would use this book uh, probably don't need a lot of really explicit new instruction in uh, the mechanics of the language. They've done a lot of that. What they need right now is to work on mastering and to work on um, developing the academic registers and the academic automaticity that they really, that they really need. This idea grew out of uh, a road trip that Kelly Sippel and I took. We were coming back from uh, speaking to a college in Windsor, Ontario, and we were both talking about how there isn't really a very good um, advanced reading book for students. Now, these students could be undergraduates, they could be graduate students, but they're, uh, they're students who are on the verge of being able to handle freshman level reading. I mean, they, they may, they of course do have some weaknesses. They haven't maybe been exposed to enough academic registered reading, and that's one of the things that we want to do here. Uh, the readings in this book, uh, they're not as long as we might like them to be. We all know that uh, great volume in reading is important, um, it, but you can't write a 5,000 page book. But what we have done is selected some very challenging readings. We have readings in there. Um, we have one by Michael Pollan, who's the famous food writer. We have a chapter from Jared Diamond's Collapse. We have um, most of a chapter from Miles Harvey's The Island of Lost Maps. My favorite, my favorite unit in the book, a unit about mistakes. Um, we've covered, we're covering some disciplines that are very uh, very important to most students as they near that, that uh, freshman level reading, or they may be uh, beyond freshman, they could be graduate students. Um, these readings preserve the, the textual integrity that you get in a freshman type reading. They're, they're longer, and the exercises that come after them are really tough. Um, a lot of the students who use this uh, might be able to use some other book, uh, say uh, the Swales and Feet uh, writing book. Uh, they, they may not be that good in writing, but the, the reading will help push them along, will encourage them to uh, improve their vocabulary learning. The book owes a lot to uh, writing by Frederica Stoller and William Grave uh, about how uh, advanced level readers need volume, they need a lot of vocabulary instruction, they need to develop uh, certain models like a text model, understanding how elements in a text relate to each other, a situational model, understanding how uh, things in the reading relate to their circumstances, um, what, what they call a field model, that is um, relating readings to other sources of information. Each, each unit in the book has uh, at least three readings, and we emphasize integrating the facts among those, those readings. Um, each chapter has three tiers. Each of the tiers represents a different focus. They all are vocabulary oriented. They all include what you may know as reading to learn activities, that is, you read so that you can do a certain activity or a certain academic activity, something like uh, writing writing a term paper or answering questions, uh, short answer questions on a test, or what you need. One of the things that we really really emphasize is that um, you're able to apply the vocabulary in idiomatic ways that you take it beyond. Um, beyond the surface. And one of the things we hope that our students who, once again, they're probably nearing that freshman level, um, one of the things we think they'll feel confident of as they, as they finish 
uh, mastering academic reading, is that now they're in that discourse community. They're in that community that allows them to compete with native speaker freshmen or native speaker graduate students. And they come away feeling like they've had a good workout, the readings are tough, the exercises are challenging, and we feel that after working with this book, they'll feel much, much more confident in themselves as readers. 